The Query Builder is an advanced, advanced feature of finding messages, and by default it does not come installed in Outlook. So for example, you can come up here, click in the Instant Search field, and on its Related Contextual Search tab in the Options group, click on the Search Tools drop-down arrow as we did in the previous training video for the Advanced Find. Click on it. If you had the Advanced Advanced Find, known as the Query Builder, it would be the fourth tab here. Now why would you want to use the Query Builder? Well, for example, in the previous training video when I clicked on the Advanced tab to define more criteria, I clicked on the field drop-down arrow, went to All Mail Fields, and let's keep it simple. We want to do Subject. There's the line item for Subject. So the subject, there's the condition. It has to contain a value, or in this case, let me click on the title bar to move the window down. I know that there's an email that has the word Apple in the subject. So if I come down here and say, OK, I want to look for in the subject that contains the word Apple. When I go ahead and click Add to List, and I want to be able to say, or it could be Pineapple, I don't get that condition here. So that's where the Query Builder comes in, because it gives me that option to say, find Apple as well as, or in addition to, if it's available, Pineapple. So let's go ahead and click Remove, Close Out. And then to install the Query Builder, well, let's come down here. I'm in Windows 7. Click on the Start button. And in the Windows Instant Search field, I'm going to type in Reg Edit R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And there it is. Go ahead and click on it. And it's going to give you a warning saying, hey, if you come in here and you tinker around, you could destroy your computer. Well, make sure that you follow everything that I'm doing and you should be good. Well, there's my disclaimer. It worked for me, and make sure you don't get off the path, otherwise you'll turn to stone. Well, your computer will too. So go ahead and click Yes. And then I want to scroll over to the left and scroll all the way to the top because I bet if this is your first time in the registry editor, let me click to collapse it, that it looks nice and clean like that. Total of five folders. What you want to do is you want to click to expand the H key current user folder, that little triangle, click on it to expand it. And then go down to software. Well, it'll be a collapse. Let me collapse it. And it's sorted alphabetically. So go to the software folder, expand it. And let me collapse Microsoft. And go down to M for Microsoft, expand that. And then scroll down to, OK, let me collapse Office. You see how it remembers where you've been. Go down to Office, expand that. And then the current version for 2016 is 16. So let me collapse it. So you'll expand 16. And let me collapse Outlook here. And let me scroll over. You want to find the Outlook folder and then right click on Outlook and go down to New and say that you want a new key. Click on it and you'll see down below it adds a folder, new key number one. We want to rename that, so go ahead and just start typing Query Builder and hit Enter. Now, if for some reason you made a mistake in naming it, you can right click on it and go to rename. It'll open up and then you can go ahead and type it in as you see it here, if you can see it. Capital Q U E R Y, capital B U I L D E R, Query Builder. That's it. Go ahead and close out. Click in the Instant Search box. Again, on the Search tab to the Options group, click on the Search Tools. And we go to Advanced Find. Hey, there it is, Query Builder. It's now available for us. So go ahead and click on the tab, and we can click on the field, go to All Mail Fields, to Subject, and there's the line item. Subject contains, we'll say, let me click in here, Apple. Add it to the list, and then if I want an additional condition for it to meet, like, okay, I don't have Pineapple here. Let's do Hunting. Let me click and drag this up, and let's click on Field to all mail fields. Again, we want to do the subject. Subject contains, and we'll do hunting. And then when we add it to the list, it says by default, it has to meet all these conditions to be true, all these clauses. And if you're like, no, it just has to be one or the other. If it finds the one, pull it up. If it finds the other, pull that up as well. So instead of meeting all conditions, it can meet any of them. And if any of them are true, well, it'll pull up the one that has Apple in it and the one that has hunting as well. So to go ahead and take it for a test drive, click on Find Now. Well, let me maximize this so we can see down below. There we go. Hey, Apple Picking. Because that is true. Could be where it meets any of the clauses as well as hunting meets the any clause condition. Fabulous. And then if you want it to be the other way, like, okay, let's switch it to and, where all clauses have to be true. Well, I'm not going to find any because I don't have Apple in the title as well as hunting. So maybe if I select hunting, 
and I say remove the item. Okay, subject contains apple. How about, okay, this is going to be very easy to pick out. <laughs> picking. And then click add to list. It has to meet all conditions, apple and picking. Let's go ahead and click find now. There you go. It meets it because all clauses are true, apple and picking. And then we can remove all and start over again. And then, of course, if you want to get rid of the query builder, the tab here, just go back and watch the part where we added the query builder folder, follow the same path, and then when you get to the folder, right click on it and go down and click on delete. Just a right click on the folder to delete and you're good. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.